How's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome back to the Witch's House MV. I have been away for a little while, so I have not played this for like 10 days. But I've also been super eager and also super scared to come back to it. I've had kind of uh, mixed emotions about the fact that I knew I had more of this to be recorded. So probably when we heard that glass break, uh, it was with the broken ass, the, the head in the glass container there. I heard the glass crack. I said something about like the only glass I'm aware of is in this room, but I didn't see anything change. Here we go. It holds what looks like a human head. The case is cracked. I have nothing with which to smash. Shelf with the missing book. Hmm, well, I obviously need to break that glass the rest of the way. Can I just take one of your books? I probably need a book to stick in that bookshelf with the missing book. Talk to the invisible girl. Sorting these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. Right. Right. The rope in the spider room, but I get chased out and die when I go in there. Like, obviously I need to steal this butterfly and swap it out for the blue one. And then then the, the spider will be distracted eating that delicious, sweet, attractive looking butterfly and won't come running after me, but I, like, can't get out of this room to make that happen. I'm missing, I'm missing a key step here. A little bit of backtracking, maybe. Maybe I missed something that can be used to smash screens real good. We haven't been to that much of the house yet. There's, like, not that many rooms to go back to. Save the butterfly. Save the world? What the hell? You can play this game with a mouse? I did that on accident. <laughs> I feel like that would do nothing but harm my reaction time. That's cool that you can change on the fly like that. Oh, if you take the rope and don't take the butterfly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you thought it moved slightly. Must be your imagination. No, it happened. It super happened. You can take the rope and not the butterfly, and then you're, then you're good to go. <clears throat> I think I just choked on fear, maybe? Item, a smooth piece of rope. So I have to give this to you to tie up your book, right? Ah, is that for me? Yeah, you can have it, I don't mind sharing. Thank you, take this, book of death. You evil, evil, twisted creature, what have you done? Read, we have to know, teach, teach. Oh, so sleepy. Oh, it's, it's more than just, it's a touch worse than just the sleepies. Oh god, she bled to death out of her eyeballs. Why was that so fucking disturbing? It went from just like uh, a little bit of uh, evil, little a touch of evil in the eye, to a sick, gross death. Note to self: save before you read the book of death. It might, it might result in death. You know. Ah, that movement is so slight. The, like, the falling of the wine bottle off of that shelf and everything got me way worse. I was also very geared up at the time, like, on edge. I'm playing through- oh, okay, he's on the move. Uh, so now I read the Book of Death, Adam? That's still locked. Oh, I still have to try and save the butterfly. Did he peace out? Oh, okay, now I have to wait for him. Now I'm starting to get back on edge a little bit. Uh, I thought he was going to patrol the room. It's not that kind of game. I, You just have to be mindful of very precise moments, not like trying to sneak past a guard or anything like that. Oh, I just got to put it on the shelf. Don't read it. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of exactly what needs to happen. No one ever read it again. Maybe it'll get lost in a bunch of Clifford the Big Red Dog books. No, don't read it, you idiot. I just assumed it was going to come up with the... Uh, to put it on the shelf prompt. Whoops. Sorry to make you go through this twice, little girl. Don't read. Place. Put it on the shelf. There you go. You gotta go through the order of operations there. Put it on the shelf. It sounded like the glass cover fell off. That was a very subtly quiet sound. I can't move. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, god. I don't know what's going on. It's the head. The head came and got me. Wow, that was sillier than any other thing that's got me so far. I'm going to turn the volume up a smidge. Some of these scares are 
being lessened by being so quiet. The teeny tiny little skull was almost silly in comparison to the big death bear that came up. He reminds me a little bit about uh, of the guy from Planescape Torment who follows you around and like cracks jokes. So it's hard for it to be scary when he reminds me of that. So now what if I just sneak on back? What if I go the opposite direction? What if I pick, take the book back out again? Like, just take it off the shelf. The glass case thing already happened. Maybe we can, like, deactivate Bonehead here with a little quick move like that. Uh, I thought maybe he was guaranteed going to go the one direction. All right, after saying the game wouldn't make me run past things like the guard and stuff like that, this part of the game seems to be very much run past the skull head. Oh, you can't. I don't think you can sneak past him. But, okay, there's something else going on here. So right away there, the glass cover falls off. Here you hear, like, stone grating. So there is something going on immediately around me that I'm missing. Something that doesn't require running up to where the skeleton is? She's grinning at me, you psycho. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I push the entire shelf, maybe? Oh, there's some sort of a weird bit of clipping that happens with these angular parts of, of the room, apparently. Uh, I cannot, I cannot push that out of the way. If I just run laps? Ah, that's what it takes. I just gotta bolt through and run some sick laps. Hey, that guy's back. I'll check a save down. Don't mind if I do. How you been? How is your little walk you went on there? Is the head done for? Is he totally gone? Oh, hmm. Okay, I don't know what the grating, what the grating stone sound was then. Take? Now it was super easy to move all of a sudden? That's fine. Everything is fine. I'll stop concerning myself with silly things. No, no pressure on the, the, skilled Indiana Jones swap that takes place here. All right, I got time. I got time to investigate the butterfly model. Stick him to the web. Perfect. And the spider will be perfectly happy with that, right? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, our cat friend's gone. What was that? The butterfly flutters out of your hands and slips out through the wall. We saved the butterfly. You heard something unlock. Oh, the guard's gonna jump at me. Oh, he didn't. Oh, not the door I was expecting or planning to go through. What changed in here? I'm back on edge again. Oh, there's just a noose. Oh, the invisible girl hung herself. Why? She didn't... She didn't like the... You were... <laughs> you are supposed to use that rope to bind up your books. Jesus fucking Christ. A vase... What are those sounds? Who was moaning at me? Don't just say it's a vase of roses. Oh god, there's bloody smears all over. I don't even know if those were there when I first walked in the room or not. Don't just say a vase of roses when it clearly jumped at you. Guard friend? He's done. He's uh, he's out for the night, I think. He had his fun. And, oh, come on. What is the point of a room this small other than to force you through spooky doors? Why is there pillows everywhere? Possibly marshmallows, bags of sand, bags of flour. I don't know. Oh, don't just, yo, save. Save. Oh, yeah, I needed that. Bloody candle on the wall. Red and sticky. Hmm. Don't think too much about it. Oh. The flying sword. Dagger. Knife. Machete. Maybe it's the machete coming back for its revenge. It didn't like being used as a tool earlier in the game. I have to assume now the middle is the most safe. Oh, come on. <laughs> it seems like this is going to take a, a little bit of memorization. Why would it sound like a dog barking? Oh, it's the sound of uh, a knife being thrown. Alright, middle bad, and then middle 
Middle still bad. Leave the middle alone. Oh god, maybe this is gonna be too hard for me to do with the D a uh, D pad. I'll I'll give that like one more shot. Oh, there we go. There I got it. Whew. That's like that sort of stuff isn't that scary. By the way, this is a witch's house. You knew that, right? Right. Yeah, I knew, bud. It's uh it's been very much in the forefront of my mind. Don't you worry about it. Oh, frog. <laughs> That's cute. That's fun. Nod. Yeah, you gave me a little heart sign. Nod. The frog joined you? He's just gonna hang out, right? He didn't, like, force his way down my throat or some crazy shit like that. A lost frog searching for his home. Pet frog. Oh, the frog is happy. If the frog's happy, I'm happy. Do you like frogs? Yes. Was there a wrong answer to this? Do nothing? Will he be mad if I neglect him within moments of him becoming my pal? I'm going a second save there. In case it ends up that in some way having the frog is bad, I don't want to somehow permanently screw myself. Frog, you got this covered, right? Send him across. Do your, do your frogger business, bud. Oh, but that was just cute. Oh, it's so helpful. He's gonna get eaten by a monster or something, isn't he? That was great. You did wicked, bud. I thought some horrible beast was gonna reach up and snag him out of the air. Oh, purple-haired girl. <laughs> oh yeah, back to the normal save file. Oh, I, she seems to not be like coming at me, you know? she, Her and I seem okay so far. She just happens to be spooky as hell. Cake. I'm down. Strawberry shortcake stuck to the table. So the plate is stuck, right? Not the cake. It's uh, It would be gross if it was the cake itself that was stuck. But if it's a plate, then I could still get on board with eating some cake. The tableware is stored in symmetrical fashion. There's a spare piece of cake. Do nothing. I should probably take the cake, right? To symmetrical cake things but there's also a girl with a parasol I'm, my hands probably not in frame properly there's a girl with a parasol in the painting on the left but not the painting on the right there's a note on the wall on the left and not on the right uh, some of the stuff on the shelves is slightly different there's obviously the frog there's a plant oh okay okay I have plenty of things I can change um, a large painting on the wall there's a switch on the frame push not still wrong Okay, there's more iterations of this than I thought there would be. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to change it on this side then, because it couldn't seem to get there. Oh, nice. Yes, I would say that looks equivalent. Make a mirror image. Ah, I was way ahead of you. I figured that way out. Push. P push. <laughs> it's affixed tightly to the floor. Well, shit. Oh, this is the one you gotta push. That's much more difficult. Oh, is there not enough roses in one pot? Oh, I had even looked to make sure they were mirror images of each other and I somehow hadn't noticed. All right, take. This is just neat puzzle solving. I don't feel spooked at all currently, which is good because the spook factor was ramping up. Now that I think about it, that other plant was in a dumb spot, so it makes much more sense to move this one. Frog, my, my friend, you've done your duty. Go be a good frog friend to this other frog. Live your life. Don't even worry about it. I feel like taking the cake is going to be the last step. That's my suspicion. They're lined with tea and canned sweets. Nothing seems movable. So I have to move it on the other one. Rearrange, yes. That's not how mirror images work. That's a mirror image. Yep, and the teapot and the plates and things like that, the painting, the chairs, the roses, the flowers, the note on the wall, I do not know. Can I like pin my letter to the wall? Because that seems like it would be important, right? Like, maybe it doesn't matter. 
I can't take that down. Okay, drink of water. Gather my... Uh, center myself. Three deep breaths. Got a piece of cake. Oh, I'm not... I thought it was going to teleport the one to my inventory from the other side there. Okay, well, it has to go out in the corner here to be a proper mirror image. Tasty looking. Ooh, there should have been an option to eat it. Just to mess around with things, you know. Tear off note. Dope. Okay, that was the last step. The left and right rooms are mirrored. You heard something unlock. Crushed it. Good job, me. It sounded like the frog. Oh, okay, okay. I thought the frog would have left. And then I would be like, oh, no, you son of a bitch. Did you guys ruin anything? I thought one of the frogs would have left. I'd have to chase him back down or something. Well, it's making springy hobble around sounds. I can take the one. The door opened. Oh, okay. He was just eager to come join me. What a good friend. Through this door until the next let nothing distract you. Through the door first, though. I, I have a moment to, like, be distracted, right? Which is diary. She has more than one in this house, apparently. And that's convenient. You don't have to go to the same room all the time. Just spread it around. My father and my mother didn't love me, so I X them. Kiss? Hug? I think that's a hug. I always forget which is which. That's nice. Maybe, did they love you after that? Maybe is that all they needed to melt through the cold exterior of their hearts? I've been in this house ever since. Surrounded by friends and loved ones. No distractions. Singly minded. Maximum focus. Oh, okay, so just don't move. I want to stop and talk to the cat. And there was a thing on the shelf. There felt like there were so many options there. It's hungry. What if I go back? Oh, dang it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, at least I made it safe, I guess. But it seemed like there were so many intriguing things. But obviously, like, every single one of them was probably going to kill me. Something's on the other side. Listen, look, open. Listen. Well, if, then you're going to put your ear up against the door. Look at the door first. On the door is a window the size of your palm. But it's not like a, uh, it's not like a palm. It's not like a hand-shaped window. It's just a very small window. Uh, I'm scared to put my eye to the window. I don't know. Listen first. You hear something big slithering. Look. You see slimy dark scales. Something big is coiling up. Is it getting ready to like pounce or some shit? Listen again. Is this gonna change? In the darkness, slitted eyes spot you. Fuck me. It rammed the door. Uh, options. Look again? Giant snake. I mean, I kind of put my finger on that after the first time it said the words slither. Okay, none of that does anything anymore. Do nothing. Open door. <laughs> really? You talked me out of it. No, I'm curious. I want to know what happens. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, it was immediate. <laughs> uh, I was preparing myself for, like, a delay. And then, and then something intense happening. Not instantaneous like that. Jesus. Oh, I forgot that I... This is before I did the room rearranging. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I, like, know the precise number of times to click and interact with things and all that. Right now, it's just uh, slightly time-consuming. Oh. I'm gonna send the frog in it. <laughs> I think he eaten by that snake. I feel bad. But that needs to happen. I already did. I took my turn, okay? I already got eaten. It sucked. I mean, it was fine. Don't worry about it. Think nothing of it. There even looked like there was a bed in that hallway going through it there. Could I? Ha like, if I even tried to, to dodge that knife, would I have gotten killed? Like, there, I, I went back and saved on that. But, like... Is, does that count as being distracted if you're not, like, stopping and reading and, and things like that, you know? Alright, Frogman. Put Frog in window. 
The frog is reluctant. Uh, <laughs> sorry, you don't have much of a choice. Force the frog through the hole. It's okay. He's a, he's doing fine. I'm sure we can take a peek. You see nothing. You hear nothing. It's all good. Open it. You don't need to worry about it. It already, it already did its thing. Did it smash its way through that wall? A large crack in the floor. The ground is wet and smells of blood. I don't know. That doesn't look like the floor to me. Maybe it's a little bit of both. It's a crack that happens to carry on through the frog. Was back for a half of a second there. Oh god, what the fuck is going on in here? Why is it so disgusting? I regret that. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, heebie jeebies. That was just a one-time thing, hey? That was it? Oh, What in the shit? Well, obviously one of these statue cats is gonna be fucked. Uh, it looked at me, but that was... That was about it. A cat statue! Kidding! Hey, don't ignore me! Uh, he's pulled pranks like this on me before. I saw your shit! Feels like the head moved. Cat statue. A cat statue. <laughs> a cat statue. It moved more than a little, okay? That one bugged out, like, even crazier than, like, the little girl from, like, The Exorcist, okay? That was some pretty serious movement. Oh, I'd name a snowboarding game after it, you know? <laughs> Go where only one eye is open. Is that... Have eyes played a role in this game, or is this an up-ahead thing? Uh... <gasps> They look so friggin' scary. Oh, that's even worse. The, the eyes open is worse. I don't know what that was. Something just flipped past and barely within sight. Oh, shit. Um, can I force an eye closed? Do I have any control over this? Can I? Hmm, I thought maybe I could cast a shadow in a way that would make it look like only one eye was open. Well, I vote leave and come back because I don't think I can affect the eyes. Uh, ugh. Well, obviously all of these are wrong, right? Seems like a great way to get killed. A large open mouth is drawn on the wall. There's a hole just big enough to crawl in. Go in. Coffee suits can be awful. Just, just random big ass spikes. Okay, that's not the worst thing I've seen. I just am very jumpy. Ugh. I imagine the terrifying one with the enormous eyes is even worse, right? Maybe it's the exact same. Maybe it's the exact same sequence. Okay, I can live with that. Repeats are okay. I mean, even if it was slightly different, it probably would be like... A little bit old hat, you're seeing it coming. You're not expecting uh, a, a surprise party, I'll tell you that. It's pretty much only gonna be bad. Is the big slit in the wall, is that one eye? Is the fireplace back at the start of the house, is that one eye? They're weird things that look like they could be crawled into is all I'm saying. Does that count? No. Probably one eye is open, hey? What kind of metaphors? All I can think of is potato eyes. That's clearly not a thing. Hey, maybe I should take that frog buddy with me. He looks like he's ready to stretch his legs. Oh. So this is his eye. Jesus fucking Christ. That's the sort of shit I was expecting to come kill the frog when he crossed the big gaping hole in the floor. Why did it wait till now? Oh. That still seems like maybe my best option. I'm gonna go back and give that another a try, but rather than going to the blackened note on the wall, I'll, I'll go to the giant uh, hole in the floor and just crawl on into that. In, into that, there's nothing wrong with that, right? 
Big hole, no visible bottom. Mm, what do you know, it's not a good thing. I have no indication of... I don't think this game is built around backtracking. It's been very straightforward so far. So I, I'm, I'm gonna... I really didn't realize you could jump up on top of that. That's fun. Mildly for like one second. It mixed in with all the horrible, horrible shit that happens in this game. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that backtracking is not needed. Pirates, Nick Fury, eye patches of any kind. Got any hints here, cat? Wait, do these cats all have two eyes? Yeah, they do. I feel like this first one is the only one I haven't crawled into, so I'm gonna do it. Because I I don't know. I'm a sadist and I wanna kill myself in this game. I have no idea. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave it there for now, take some time to think on it. Realistically, I myself am gonna keep playing immediately. <laughs> so if a solution occurs to you, you yourself might have to wait a few days to see how it pans out. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to this after I run around off camera a little bit and see if I can figure it out, because I don't wanna burn 10 minutes not knowing what to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Is that what I normally say? Don't I normally say I look forward to seeing you again? Maybe I just thought that this was too spooky, so it's just a I, I hope. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>